Just letting you guys know you can check out my No Bleeps podcast wherever you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Says. Today we have got to talk about something that is honestly really scary that's going on with Trisha Paytas. I obviously know how people feel about Trisha in the current time. Obviously there's been a lot of drama that's gone down with them in the recent month and months with people just being very upset at Trisha and just blaming Trisha for basically everything going down with frenemies and within the family and standing by Moses. And there's just been so much. It has been quite overwhelming. And this has definitely taken a toll on Trisha. I mean, Trisha recently opened up and said that they are feeling just super unmotivated to make videos now. I think this is one of the first times that Trisha has actually gotten a ton of backlash and is really realizing what they've kind of done. And I think in the past, Trisha has just kind of kept it moving and been like, it's whatever. People can hate me. People always try to come for me, but I'm going to be on the internet forever. I'm going to make YouTube videos all the time. But this time, I just think that Trisha really, really cares what people are thinking and saying. And maybe there's some guilt in there, but Trisha is feeling super unmotivated. I don't feel motivated to do much these days. And um, it's mostly out of anxiety. I mean, we even saw Trisha delete a ton of videos off their channel. I think it was over a billion views deleted in order to kind of make a change of no longer talking about other creators online. That's something that has really just been going on with Trisha. But there's another thing that we talked about earlier this year that has continued to happen to Trisha. And in their most recent video and TikToks, this has become a major issue and it is that Trisha does not feel safe going outside. And anytime Trisha is filming mukbangs in their car or just going to the store or anything like that, Trisha has made it very, very clear that they are on high alert. Whenever I feel like a little weirded out, I just keep it moving. I just get like, I'm telling you, if I get a weird feeling, I move. I know I'm weird. I don't know. Sorry, I'm like really paranoid. It's really weird actually to be out by myself. Trisha says that they've been robbed twice before in their life. So they just are always looking to see like who is around them, who might be watching them, and is just extremely paranoid when they are out alone without Moses. And Moses has kind of stepped in to become Trisha's bodyguard over the last year that they've been together. I am by myself. I don't have Moses with me. Most of the time I don't like care if Moses with me like outside. But even when I'm outside without Moses, I'm literally still on edge right now. And so there's been a lot that's gone down when Trisha has gone outside. I mean, I made a video on it before that Trisha has had to move their car from parking lot spots because people are like being suspicious and then Trisha gets uncomfortable and then like needs to leave and has talked about people coming up to their car window and like knocking on it and has talked about it plenty. I mean, talked about it on Frenemies, talked about it on their channel, talked about it on TikTok. It's definitely a really, really scary thing. And this is something that nobody should have to experience, whether you like Trisha or not not, you have to know that going up to people's cars and invading their space is not okay. And that's extremely uncomfortable. And it is just like weird. It's freaking weird. Celebrities, influencers, people that you watch on TV, movies, YouTube, whatever, are just regular people at the end of the day. Like they're, you know, not regular to you or quote unquote normal but they have lives and they can get scared and spooked just like you. You might feel like you know them, but they do not know who you are. So when you're coming up to them, it's freaking scary. And it has happened once again, where Trisha is totally spooked by this one person that came up to their car and wanted Trisha to say something to their children. And Trisha made a whole video about it because Trisha was filming a video when this all went down, so it was like all on camera. And they posted the video on their channel titled, I got harassed at an Arby's parking lot in my own car. And on TikTok, Trisha actually posted, I was about to film a TikTok and this guy banged on my car and started following me after I said I wouldn't roll down my window and proceeded to even show footage of the guy just standing at the window of Trisha's car filming them. That is so scary and not okay at all. It's super messed up. I don't know how people think that this will make Trisha want to like get out of the car and like be nice and like say, hey, you know, to his kids. That's just so 
wacko and it's effed up and it's not okay and trisha ended up moving the car trisha had to get out there super quickly trisha was saying that they were shaking because the situation just obviously is extremely terrifying don't i, I can't i don't want to there's you When I'm in my car, that's like being at my house. You don't just knock on the window and demand me to talk to your kids. Like, if we're out and about, okay, I'm outside my car, okay. Like, it is a man on a phone saying, roll down your window, roll down your window. I won't do it. I won't do it. It's not right. It's not cool. You're not cool. He's filming me as I'm driving away. I am in my own personal space. Like, please. Like, he's literally, he's literally following me. And there's also just a ton of people that have a lot of things to say about this i mean trisha drives a very noticeable very bold car i mean we're talking about this bright pink rolls royce so this is um it's definitely going to attract some attention and a lot of people are just like well if you're so paranoid don't have a car like that but at the same time you shouldn't have to like change your lifestyle because other people are super inconsiderate of your personal space and there's definitely respectful ways to meet celebrities or just be nice i mean respect the boundaries i mean seriously like i know my car is noticeable I know that, but it's the same thing of being the kind of girl, oh, well, if you dress a certain way, like you're asking for it. Like, well, what do you expect? You drive a pink car? It's like, no, you shouldn't have to expect anything. I, should, I could drive a clown car and I shouldn't have people coming up to me. Like, I really didn't know what to do. Like, I don't even know why he was filming me from his angle. I'm like, oh, look, she's leaving. She's back completely. Like, what? I'm not, a, I'm not a freaking animal in a cage. Like, I'm not. Like, I'm alone in a car in a parking lot at Arby, in an Arby's parking lot. I mean, Trisha says that if they're at a store or you see them in public, you know, not places that are private and protected, then Trisha will say hi or take a picture. But if you're coming up to Trisha when they're in the car, that's literally crazy. And Trisha said that that's basically the equivalent of going up to their house and knocking on the door, or like trying to ring the doorbell and being like, hey, can you like say hey to my kid and like film a video for a quick second? That's um. super out of line. And I mean, people are brave. I've seen so many things like this. I've done so many stories where people were coming up to David Dobrik's house. People were jumping the fence of his house, just wanting to like say, hey, and they feel like they know the people that they're watching on the screen of their computer or their phone, but you don't know them. So don't be weird and don't be creepy, be respectful. And the person that you were trying to meet will be nice to you. It's when you scare them that they're going to want to be kind of rude and retreat. Obviously there are people that are like celebrities or influencers that are accused of being rude no matter what, even if you are nice. But in this case, Trisha was like, please, like if you are just nice to me, that's all that, you know, it will take for me to take a picture or be in a video with you because Trisha says that they have had experiences where they've been like blindsided thinking someone is a fan when they're actually a hater and it's just a very uncomfortable situation. And I could definitely understand wanting to be on super, super high alert when these kinds of things happen. And it's just unfortunate that Trisha has to be so scared going in public. But obviously there's a lot of opinions about it. Like I said, people are just like, okay, well, don't have such a noticeable car but then there's people like well Trisha should be able to enjoy the things and drive that car around and not have to worry about people being up in their space so I think everyone should just respect each other's personal boundaries and if you want a picture with Trisha or you want a video of Trisha saying hi to you don't be freaking creepy oh my god and i know how people feel i know how people feel about trisha but come on we can all agree that personal space is something that everybody should have and being respected is something everyone should have as well anyways that's what's going on with trisha this is like i said not the first time and it probably won't be the last time which is so sad because there's a lot of weird people out there but i definitely want to know what you guys think about this let me know your thoughts in the comments down below i love you guys so much and i will talk to you in the next video bye guys